Hello, chat. How's everyone doing? Hello, Dragon King. Hello, Wacky Warrior. Hello, Burmy. Hello, Star. Hello, The Missing Sea Fan. Hello, Oblivion. Hello, Blicking Hero. How's everyone doing this fine day? Um, it's been, it's been, it's been real. Let's just say. Um, we have a lot planned, but I guess to start off, I do have a confession. Um, I know this might be a shock to you, but the person speaking to you right now, the person streaming, is not actually DTM. DTM had some IRL stuff that he needed to take care of. So, filling in for today, making my Fae Tubing debut, it is actually I, ATM. How's everyone doing, folks? Oh my goodness, I am so excited to finally start my Faytubing career. I've always been wanting to, you know, do something like this. And, you know, I've been inspired by so many of the community, like so many whales like Chronicos and, you know, Oblivion and Joel. They were really such inspirations to me. And yeah, I decided to follow in their footsteps. And, obviously, what better way to do things than to begin summoning? I do need to, uh, tweet this out. Give me a second. Um, so hopefully we can get more people in. Again, this is the debut stream, so I really do hope that I get some good traction. And who knows? Maybe, maybe if it goes well, we can have, like some follow-up streams. I can start doing this for realsies. <laughs> uh, ooh, we have some more people. Always love to see. Oh, hello, uh, Sparkles. Hello, Satoshi. Hello, Emini. <laughs> um, oh, thank you so much, Wacky Warrior, for the um, super chat. Greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, we're going to wait for a little bit until more folks uh, come in and we can finally do things. Let me see. Uh, this I, this is my first time doing this, so I'm trying to like figure things out on the fly. So I do hope y'all bear with me 
as I try to figure out um, how to do this YouTube thing, you know? <laughs> um, all right, how do I do this? You didn't know ATMs can talk? It's uh, actually a really deep secret. Um, you know, we ATMs, we have like a community of just us. It's very insular, so not a lot of people know. Um, but I'm trying to expand out of my comfort range, right? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that should work. So yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Rayon. Um, again, this is DTM had some IRL stuff to uh, deal with, so I'm taking his place. Again, I always wanted to do this YouTube thing, and you know, now's a really good opportunity. <laughs> um, how can an ATM tap without hands? Well, um, thankfully, through the miracle of science, you know, I, I can just pay someone to tap for me. So, yeah. That's the power of the modern technology of money. <laughs> ATM, what's your favorite bay unit? Uh, my favorite unit is Gatekeeper. Like, Gatekeeper was such a deep and nuanced and compelling character when I played Three Houses. And I was so, so happy when he won CYL5, right? Like, I thought that was such a great moment in Fey that really, really left us with a very positive precedent. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I was represented because, you know, Gatekeeper represents the people or at least the whales. <laughs> so yeah, really, really happy about that. Oh, thank you, Wacky Warrior. I Sorry, I missed this, but thank you, Wacky Warrior, for um, this, another super chat. Really, definitely really do appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So I think enough people have uh, came by. Again, doing my Fate Tuber thoughts on the Summer Byleth versus Valentine's Lucina matchup. Um, Summer Byleth wins, hands down, right? Like, Valentine's Lucina is such a trash far save. Like, who would even think that Valentine's Lucina would be able to withstand any nuke? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, Valentine's Lucina is so old these days. So yeah, Summer Byleth would win. Easy. <laughs> You're an inspiration, ATM. Oh, thank you so much. Really, definitely do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we do have our summons for today. Um, so the plan, obviously, is to get Emblem Ike. And, you know, Emblem Ike is just perfect for someone like me. You know, like, I think tanking and end turning is just the elite epitome of Fae's strategies. And I hope that, you know, I'll be able to get him with his return of the assurance of end turn. All right. Um, I guess to do my little spiel here, uh, all these orbs are pay to win orbs. Pay to win, by the way. And yeah, let us begin with the summons. And if y'all have any uh, questions, um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. Again, this is my first time here, so I do want to like, you know, make a name for myself. Fake ATM no pass. Okay, as a whale, I really dislike um, Fey Pass because like, you know, when back in my day, you know, sometimes we spent 300, 400, 500 orbs just to get the unit we wanted. And now literally anyone could just get Fey Pass and Spark. Like, it's totally unfair. It's totally unfair. Like, yeah. <laughs> Why should all these dolphins be able to get what I can get? <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're going to be summoning 
Ooh, Lapis. I actually really like Lapis. But yeah, we are definitely going for red. Um, I already have plus 10 Sather because, again, I'm a whale. And, like, I don't need any more of Camilla's and Nino's, so yeah. Definitely don't need of them. ATM, who did you vote for for AHR? Um, I voted for Fallen Edelgard because I thought, you know... And I will talk about this later, but... Why should all these, like, F2P people with their little gangs, like, they're trying to come up, they're trying to get, like, all the good units that I spent all my precious orbs and money on just to get them. Like, they shouldn't get what I get, right? Like, I paid for this, I deserve this. If they want it, they can pay for it themselves. And, you know, I, th I think that's just fair. We do want a bunch of redstones, right? Like, five redstones is the optimal. Um, and hopefully we get Emblem Eye. I wouldn't mind Alincia. I wouldn't mind, uh... I wouldn't mind Embla. Because I haven't plus 10 them yet, so obviously... Definitely want to get those. ATM, can you predict who will win next, uh, CYL? Unfortunately, like, that is something based on the com Okay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Alright. You know, the strat is to actually uh, hack into a DTM stream and take all his luck. <laughs> yes, the pay-to-win luck. See, this is... Ooh, D plus defense. That's also really nice. This is why you guys have to whale. IS knows when you're paying money for orbs. So if you pay more money for orbs, you get better luck. Like, it's just basic science, right? So yeah, getting Ike is really good. Minus masker. speed is kind of actually optimal. And then obviously plus defense is actually insane. <laughs> um, so yeah, we do have our emblem Ike out added to the five star list. Um, this is not the end of our summonings. We do have one more summons against my better judgment. <laughs> Need to spend them my taxes so they can see how much I spend and fix my rates? Don't worry. Uh, my uncle works at Nintendo, so I can definitely hook that up for you. Yeah. Got it immediately, minus defense, minus speed plus defense, optimal IVs, like, it's actually insane. What do you mean? I thought, oh shoot, uh, I have like more units, okay. Um, all right, I need to manage my barracks. Gotta send home all these units. All right, very cool. All right. And, okay, back to the summons. Um, I do have the HR banner. Now, for the longest time, you know, I refused to summon on this just out of principle because the green dream is actually the green lie. Like, I plus 10 all of these units on release, and now all these F2P chumps can get these insane pulls while I have to suffer through the normal banners, like, for shame. Like, I know, like, like, Joel, whose propaganda has infected all of Feytube. Like, he has all this math. Well, I'm here to tell you that math is a lie, okay? Like, the only thing that is the truth is your own experiences. And, yeah. So I, for the longest time, I did refuse to summon on this on principle. But, you know what, I, had, I did see HR summons like get a lot of insane views, and so I will compromise my values in order to get in viewership. You know, just like every other... <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, yeah, let's go for green, because green's the only option. Ideally, I would like peony. Um, the more peonies, the better. 
Um, I wouldn't mind a single Claude or a single Dimitri. I actually wouldn't mind like a bunch of Aaliyahs, like genuinely. Um, so yeah, let us begin with these summonings. We're just going to Spark. Because again, I refuse to go more. ATM, could you share a top 10 or 5 list of favorite units in Fae? Um, I don't think I have a top 10. I guess top 5. Like, obviously, I mentioned Gatekeeper. I really love him as a character. And I just love his, uh, like, warp bubble mechanic. Like, it's really, really, like, fun to... It's a really fun mechanic, basically. Um, number two, I would say, is probably, a uh, Dual Leon. I, th I think he was a really healthy addition to the game, right? Like, it's just such... Gives such agency to players. Like, you know, for the longest time... Uh, what's the... Oh, what's the color? Blue color list. For the longest time, you know, like, I was really struggling in Summoner's Duels. Like... Like, I'm a whale, right? I have been for years. I've successfully paid my pay to win my way to full arena crowns and a lot of gilded chairs, but I just couldn't seem to be able to buy my way to a good SDR rank. And for the longest time, I thought SDR, I mean, IS messed up and probably needed like some merge scores or something because like SDR didn't incentivize me to spend orbs. But now I have Leon and he just solved all my problems. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, number three is probably like Murr. Just like Gatekeeper, I really loved the fact that she denied warping. Cause like warping, any strat that used warping is a bad strat. I'm just gonna say that flat out. <laughs> so Murr, uh, Valentine's Murr was really good. Um, And then, probably the next, my next favorite one. Ooh. Okay, never mind. It's just a three-star Titania. Titania. <laughs> never mind. I, I was hopeful. My, I think my fourth favorite one is probably like, it's not actually even like a base. It's a resplendent. Like, I really loved, um... OG Resplendent Lucina. Like, I I just thought the art, like, really suited the character. You know, they should bring back that artist, I think. Like, they did just such a good job. They should bring them back. And then for the last one... I don't know if I have a last one. <laughs> Thoughts on Kokomi? Kokomi? More like can't crit me, am I right? <laughs> ATM, what is your favorite game mode? Um, my favorite game mode is Arena because, you know, it was the first mode that I was able to do well in because all I needed to do was, you know, pay to win my way to plus 10 units and then I just scored good. And so, like, I... And, like, I felt that was really rewarding. It felt that, like, my... The money I put into the game was really, uh... Was really valued. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, ATM, do you think Gale Forcing is trash? I think Gale Forcing is just so boring. Like, there's... You just, like, sweep in one turn. Like, how how would you call that a real fun time, right? Like, me, I personally just like to build up my units and have all of the enemy just, like, get to, just, like, t go, attack into, like, Emblem Ike, for instance, or, you know, Gatekeeper, and just, like, just get defeated. And so... <laughs> Yeah, I think tanking is the way to go. Thoughts on Omni tanking? Yeah, as I mentioned, I think Omni tanking is the peak of intelligence in Fey, right? Like, it takes a lot of skill 
to be able to press the end turn button. And so I really enjoy it. Yeah, unfortunately, like DTM had to uh, had to deal with some IRL issues. So again, I am very thankful for this opportunity to make my Fate Tubing debut. It's truly been a blast so far, and we hopefully we'll see if like Fallen Gustav. Interesting. Uh, I forgot what you had. Okay, you don't have anything. I guess we'll go for the fodder here. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to spark. I refuse to uh, go any further. Out of principle. Should have just cremated him. ATM, do you think Robin and Grima are the same person? Hey, Alir, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me update this first. Is it LF Alir? I think it's LF Alir. I have to like specify this now. <laughs> um, okay, do you think Robin and Grima are the same person? I mean, I think that would be obvious to everyone, right? Like. IS literally has them with the same name in the game. So like I don't I don't know how, how that is like up to debate. You know what I'm saying? ATM thoughts on Vale? Uh Vale you know deserves all the terrible things that happened to her, right? Like just such a terrible character. I don't know why she is so obsessed with finding her sibling. It's really weird. <laughs> Ooh, oh shoot, I really should have done this beforehand. Um, no, we send home all these units. Thoughts on Oblivion's box house? Um, I respect it because he was like the role model for whales. If you don't like sell everything for Gotcha, are you even a whale? Like SMH. ATM, can you share some wisdom <laughs> to the chat, please? Um, okay, so I have some wisdom when it comes to, uh, playing Faye, right? So, you know, Faye is a gotcha. And what is the optimal strategy for gotcha games? Well, they always come out with U units. So in order to succeed as a player, you just have to summon on every banner. And you can't possibly lose when you do that, right? So my advice would be to just, whenever a new banner comes out, just keep summoning, right? And never stop. Like, it doesn't matter if like you spend 300 orbs and you don't get anything because 90% of gamblers quit before they hit it big. So you just gotta keep summoning. Like, otherwise you're just gonna miss out, right? <laughs> you have to, you have to just keep summoning. All right, so we got a leer from this band. I thought that was Soren for a second, and I was going to be really happy. <laughs> I would like a Dimitri, if just for like no quarter. All right, I guess we're just on our road for a plus ten legendary leer. Let's go. I think this is like plus three now, actually. <laughs> what are your opinions on rerun banners? I think rerun banners are trash, right? Like, why should you, why should we allow people 
who, you know, were not that enthusiastic about these units to have a second chance, right? Like, if you... I guess you just reward people who, you know, are true fans of what is going on here. What? What is happening? Is she plus five now? What? Yeah, true fans of legendary female here. What is happening? Okay. I mean, I guess, like, if I get... I Like, again, I'm gonna show, like, this. I have, like, a plus four Alir, I think, now. Yeah. Like, dang. Okay. <laughs> Faye is liking ATM speech, for real. Again, my uh, uncle works at Nintendo, so, like, I know how to hook people up. You plus 10 peony on this banner can happen to you. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so I forgot uh, what my, uh, what the last conversation I have, but basically that's all true, right? Yeah. It's actually a uh, plus 25 peony. I'm hoping to get like the remaining five merges on this banner, but I guess we'll be doing a Leer again. Any predictions for the next seasonal? People think it's either Little Awakening, Echoes, or Three Houses. Um, I think it's going to be Three Houses, but what we're going to have is we're going to have um, a baby Felix. Because I think, you know, Felix fans would really appreciate a young version of Felix, you know, as a baby. I think that would really suit his fans. Um, we're going to get a... Uh, Literal baby rage. Exactly, right? Now, see, this is how these banners could be really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking baby Dimitri, too. Like, it'll be like baby blue lines. Like, we'll have baby Dimitri, baby uh, Felix. And, you know, honestly, some of these... The fact that all these, like, baby banners are the same game has been getting, like, it kind of stale. So I sort of want to have, like, a baby Jafar. You know, I think that would be, like, really, really cool. Or, like, I don't know, baby Joshua or something. <laughs> what is happening? What? That's a plus five <laughs> now. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that is a plus five. <laughs> you might unironically plus send a Leer here, like genuinely. <laughs> Just plus send a Leer, easy. <laughs> All right. Man, I really should have cleaned this out beforehand. Unfortunately, like, I'm not really that organized when it comes to, uh, my thing. How likely is it to get three Aaliyah's copies and 200 orbs? Um, so, ideally you get, like, I think one Aaliyah is, like, around 120 orbs. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting lucky that this is to like the one unit I don't have a plus 10 of. So. I guess you win this time. For now. Let's see if that keeps up. Hello, the Art King. Uh, yes, we are having good summons. Again, that is the strat. 
IS knows when you're spending money, so you have to spend money to get better luck. Alright, I'll take a Prime. Like, I already plus 10 Claude, but can't be hurtful for more Prime, right? Minus attack, though, is kind of sucks. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think Joel is in the chat. I forgot to say hello. Hello, Joel. Yo, ATM, what's that? Uh... Okay, so my plus 10 Claude is actually in the group, so when the game doesn't, you know, see that you have a unit in the reserves, it'll just automatically have the exclamation point. Fun trivia for y'all. All right, so we've gotten like how many? Oh shoot, I forgot to add Claude to the. My apologies. Um, again, I'm really new to this like fate tubing thing, so I do apologize. I can't. I guess. I guess we can do it this way. What is your most used unit? Like it's Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is my favorite character, and I really love using him as an Omni tank support. I also love using him on Aetherite's defense, and he's very, very good in Summoner's duels, you know, so I use him there as well. Valentine's Mur as well? Of course, of course. Dang, I really should have done this beforehand. <laughs> Just like, clear it out. Some units. Would you wail for an Abyss Keeper or not? Like, obviously, like, we need to know the lore between Gatekeeper and Abyss Keeper. Like, that is just some deep, compelling lore that IS needs to explore. And when they do, of course I'm going to wail. Like, I always support my home. Valentine's Mur with the plus 10 icon. Yes. <laughs> that is the ideal. Love it. I thought that was like a five star for a second. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Abyss Keeper, Gatekeeper duo. Like, if they do that, I should just like end Faye because it doesn't get higher than that. What are your merge projects? So obviously Emblem Ike is going to be a merge project. Like, I really think plus tending Emblem Heroes is just very, very valuable. And so I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'll also be plus tending my Valentine's Leon and Valentine's Mer. I think those are some good projects to, uh, you know, spread some fun energy to the game. And yeah. Those are my current projects, I think. Like, it's I'm really close. My Valentine's Leon is like plus nine, while my Valentine's Mer is plus eight. So, you know, soon they'll be completed once the double special comes out. All right. I guess the question is, who do I want to spark? I thought that was a five star for a second. <laughs> I really had never had a Lauren before. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Cause like, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Awakening um, cast or Awakening in general. Like, save the franchise, more like ruin the franchise. Am I right? 
Uh, I guess that'll be the four star copy. <laughs> ATM emblem IXT skill is versatile. What would you put on that slot? Uh, I think I've been seeing like Fatal Smoke as an option just to get rid of Miracle Effects. Um, there are other options, of course. I need to do some simming on that. With the Alliers, it might be worth to go two Sparks. So you can take Peony and Alier. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> One more before the Spark, huh? What is happening? <laughs> Should I actually plus 10 Alir? <laughs> plus 10 uh, Alir stream? Maybe. What? What, what is she on? What's uh, her... Uh... Merge level right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a plus six Alir. <laughs> All right, this is number 40. Imagine if this was Alir. Imagine. <laughs> I mean, at least Dimitri's in the code, so okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, you are going to my, uh, you're fodder, basically. <laughs> and, dang, okay. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, I guess. Hmm. So that is a plus six. It could become plus seven. And so that's like three more, theoretically. Um, hmm. Also, I need to actually like <laughs> um, make this a little bit smaller. <laughs> All right, I'm going to think about this a bit, chat. What does Peony even have? This Ross Lights had... Unity would have been really good, but... I only have one Peony, and, like, the main benefit of Peony is to, uh... Is to, like, share fodder. ATM plus 10 Alir and force DTM to make arena content? <laughs> Honestly, that would that would be amazing. <laughs> um, okay, I will spark a leer. I think that is better than uh, sparking peony at this current moment because that brings us to a plus seven. So let's write that down. And you know what I say? Again, 90% of gamblers quit while they're, uh, before they hit it big. So we're continuing this. We're continuing this. <laughs> Watch this be like a five star right here. 
Okay, I thought for a second. This silhouette still like messes me up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how these summons go. We'll see how these summons go. <laughs> I can't wait for the next podcast with ATM. Uh, well, I mean, if DTM ever invites me, I'll definitely be willing to join. Hi, Tiago. Uh, we've been doing pretty well so far. Okay. Uh, okay, give me a second. I'm going to, like, try to expediate this. I'm going to send a bunch of people into my groups. Just so that, uh, we don't have to deal with all these. Who needs organization, right? All right, cool. <laughs> ATM, which FE game do you like the most? Uh, I, Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon, I think, is the best Fire Emblem game. Like, everything about it is just so polished and very, very fun. And so, yeah. Thoughts on FE4? I haven't actually played FE4 yet, um, but hopefully the remake will come out soon, and I would definitely like love it. That is actually true. I do have a copy of Shadow Dragon worth a million dollars, and. I also do have a stockpile of all the Tellius games that I've been selling. Uh, if you want one, I can hook you up for $1,000, which I think is like a pretty fair price. That's what I'm saying! No to nail. It is a steal. <laughs> Harold said, like, what are you talking about? Like, 1k is totally, uh... Is it's like a completely fair price. Any true fan would be willing to pay a thousand dollars for it, okay? If you if you aren't then like you don't deserve to call yourself a Tellius fan. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. See Burmy knows what's up. Thank you so much, Ariel Senin, for the $5. Start my tab. All right, I'll keep track. Once that hits $1,000, then I'll send you the copy. We got a deal. Um... Ooh, we got a green stone. Very, very nice. Alright, so the... So it's not starting off as strong as, like, the, uh... One before the spark. We'll see how this goes when we hit 60. But again... I do have a pretty, pretty big orb. Uh, budget. And I can always get more. Like, that's not a problem.
We have exited the timetable. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's charging up because how the summoning works is that the more three star, four stars you summon, um, like the summoning system remembers. So like, if you like say are like halfway to spark, you have double the chance of getting the unit you want because that's how it works. ATM, have you seen Rocket Gal's AB work ab workout? You should give it a try. Uh, I definitely should, actually. <laughs> Statistics does have memory. See, this is what it's talking about. Like, it remembers that I had so much good luck before that it's trying to balance it out right now. So eventually we'll reach average. Statistics has a memory. Indeed, indeed. Is that why your luck fluctuates? Yes, that is exactly why. It's because, again, the summoning system remembers. All right, I think I'm going to go for uh, one more circle. And then we'll see. All right, we'll go for one more circle after this. <laughs> we can't end it off on a colorless. Oh, you're right. We have a huge pity. Wait, is this pity? I think so. Yeah, we have a huge amount of pity to get through. Yeah, we have to break the rate, right? That's just optimal. All right, we have a Dimitri. More no quarter, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Akutsu. Yeah, I have my like debut as a, as a Faytuber. Oh shoot, I need to uh, add this to the list. Again, I do apologize, this is my first time doing this. And you know what, since we already uh, went all this way, we might as well continue, right? <laughs> Gotta continue to the spark. ATM, do you accept fan art? Of course, of course. <laughs> it's it kind of surprising we didn't have a peony. This I think this is just proof that summoning is rigged, right? Like again, Math and stats are a lie, and 
The only thing you can trust is your own experience. Yeah, this is this is my this is my real this is what I look like. This is definitely this is not an avatar at all. <laughs> the cam is on, like, actually, though. Um, oh, there's a peony. All right, now we're cooking. <laughs> More peonies are always good. <laughs> One escaped. <laughs> yeah, I stole, uh, I stole this peony from the Miss NC fan, obviously. <laughs> Aw, oh, thank you so much, Nyaoshi. Really do appreciate it. I keep forgetting Bastion is in the game. I always mistake him for a 5-star. I don't know why. Is that why you're so handsome, ATM? Aw, shucks. But yes. <laughs> Ooh, shoot. I guess we need to uh, do this again. All right, just gotta send all these home. We all just need to do one because we only have five more summons until the spark. Do you have enough peonies to dupe Womp 4? I should. I do have a Plumeria and so um, that'll, that'll basically give us like two copies of that. Plus the spark. Unless I like get one here within the next four. But I think at this point, I mean, I guess, I guess more peonies is always good. Hey, all right, plus eight Alir. Let's go. <laughs> all right, the luck is actually picking up at the end, so that's always good. Dang, I am going to be set for fire season. <laughs> What's the green share? When's the Leer coming back? Uh, uh, shoot, you can't see this. I have to, like, do this. In May? Uh, do you know who Alir is sharing with? Doesn't matter she's here now. <laughs> Actually true. Rearm Lucina and probably the new unit. Ooh, okay. I, I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna like. If it's actually rearm Lucina, then I'll probably like wait for that. Then, as much as I really hate Lucina, she's just such a flat character. Um, I do think she is a good as rearm candidate. So, yeah, I think that would be worthy. All right, um, yeah, we're going to go for Peony here. Very, very nice. All right, so, so the second half was average. The first half was insane, like actually insane. <laughs> Um, but yeah. All right, so we do it this way, right? Okay, I don't actually know how this organization works. Okay, yeah. 
So yeah, um, this was the one given for free. We got Ike super early, which like, um, which is amazing. Oh yeah, we did get the free one. So this is number three actually. Yeah. Uh, so we have three peonies. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven alliers. That makes this alier potentially plus eight, which is actually insane. Um, uh, we have uh, two Dimitris, so that's two no quarters. One of these is for sure going to um, rearm Lucina. And then we have just one Wind Claude. Where did Wind Claude go? Hello? Oh, I think Wind Claude uh, was listed. Okay, yeah. Let me uh, put these as main units just to make things easier right now. Actually, no, we just do this. Yeah. Yeah, overall, very, very successful um, summoning sessions. And this Claude was actually good because I actually do want a Prime because, again, I did not get a uh, Distant Dart on that. Um, but yeah, overall, very, very successful summons and very successful first debut stream. Oh my goodness, I am so thankful this went well. Um, I really do appreciate everyone who joined in with all the questions and everything. I really do appreciate it. You should replace DTM more often. <laughs> I should. I, like, you know, DTM and I are big friends and like since he had some like last minute IRL stuff, I filled in. But I think I want to do like my own Paytubing stuff now. Like, this has been really fun. Maybe you'll see me more in the future. Who knows? Um, but yeah, very successful summons. Um, appreciate everyone joining the fun. And yeah, <laughs> uh, who knows? Maybe Ike one day will get plus 10. We'll see. But yeah. When is Ike returning? Is Ike also returning in May? Hold on. Uh, doesn't say here. May has Ike and Marth emblem. Ooh, that's gonna be spicy. Yes. Thoughts on the DTM podcast? Um, I mean, it's cool, like, Oblivion and Joel, like, I really appreciate them and their whale perspectives, but that DTM guy, like, he, he's such an FTP chump, you know? Like, I did get an invite, potentially. Like, there are people that express interest in me joining, so, like, I definitely would, but I refuse to join if DTM is there. All right, I guess we have to keep an eye on May. That's going to be really, really spicy. Especially since May also has a Leer as well. That's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to head off, but real definitely do appreciate everyone. Um, and yeah, um, even though this isn't my channel, like still... Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz. <laughs> um, it definitely does help out, and it will let me know to continue doing these sort of things. So, yeah, would really appreciate that. I'm going to head out and get some more uh, orbs that are too, 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 like, hardcore for this stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I Oh, Chronicles, I think you have your summons coming soon as well. I think in like two hours or so, right? Um, so if you want to watch a fellow whale um, summon on this banner. Um, ATM, do you do the daily Wordle? No, Wordle sucks. Uh, it's, a, it's a trash game. Like, like anyone who plays Wordle on stream, like, is such a loser. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. 
Uh, again, crash out, check out Connor Close the stream in like two hours. Um, and yeah, see you all next time. Bye, everyone.